Hi everyone. Well, time to make a new video. So I was very bummed out that my Tigrin Vaseli passed away, and I really took it pretty hard because Pokey is one of our, one of my favorite uh, species of tarantulas. So I went to Tarantula Canada to buy two of them, and of course I had to pick two others because I love teas. So this will be my February editions uh, so far. Really cool species. The one in the pill jar on top of the deli cup is a really exclusively rare species and very new to the pet trade. Very new to YouTube. I haven't seen any videos on this particular specimen before. As well as there's really no information available on arachnoboard. So it's a real honor and a real treat to actually document this particular species on YouTube as a John 3800 channel. As you know, I always post uh, educational tea videos. So this is what I bought from TC. Uh, I bought two Pocotheria Tigrina Wesseli, the Wessel Tiger Ornamental. I bought two of them because they were well priced. Uh, when I paid Tina five years ago, uh, she was about a hundred bucks. So you can see that the prices really came down. Uh, so I got 55 bucks for both of them, so 110. I got a Vitalius Paranensis female, confirmed, 65 bucks, and this new species, Acromaries vitatum, which was 15. It's a little small half an inch spider, but I really want to show you this one because this is the exclusively rare one. Okay, so here are my pokies to Green Wesseli, Wessel Tiger Ornamental. Uh, both of them have molted. You can see right to the left of you. Now, I believe from what I'm looking at, I do see the development of a furrow. So this one could be a suspect female. So it's not bad for $55, considering five years ago these were $100 uh, around the same size. So... I'm lucky I got two of them because hopefully I want to get a male and female so I can decide to pair them up. So this is my second to Green Wasselli, about the same size. And yeah, there's a mold too. So I think they'll be due for feeding and in a couple of days I'll actually feature them exclusively on my channel. And then again, they'll fe be featured on feeding video 113. I don't want to wait too, too long for them. Now this one I was already fed uh, when I bought her. This is a confirmed female, Vitalius parasinensis. So usually about an inch and a half specimen. They're priced at 45. Amanda sexed this one to be a confirmed female. So I paid a little bit more expensive, but not too bad considering uh, that these species are uncommon in the Canadian hobby. So the place of origin, they come from Brazil and Argentina. So there's two common names for the species. They're either called the Brazilian brown bird eater or the Argentinian stripe leg. Climate, they're tropical, so you want to keep them typical like your El Power Hibana. They enjoy a fair amount of humidity and ventilation. And like bird eaters, they get up to a respectable size. Uh, for the Vitalius species, they're not a very large species like your LPs or your LKs. Uh, they get to having a 5 to 6 inch leg span. Very similar to the Cirithacanthus living stony as you saw in yesterday's video. Well, the one I'm going to be posting today since uh, kind of a little behind on my upload. So this is a confirmed female. No idea what to name her. She's dying on a cricket. Amanda just recently fed her. And it was really cool because uh, I always wanted another UF, uh, Vitalis uh, species after uh, Vita's untimely passing. But I believe Vita was to be an older female. She was around 8 or 9. Cool. Now, the pièce de résistance. Acromaris vitatum. These are called oleopones, which are a completely different class of arachnids and they're usually called huntsman spiders or you probably f famously know them for being daddy long legs. 
So yes, my first daddy long ways, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a real treat and honor to own the species. I never actually owned one, and I actually never knew that Tarantula Canada was actually having them for sale. So you got to have a really good eye to pinpoint where this specimen is. <laughs> I've been playing too much of those Flappy Bird games. So, if my camera can focus right, I'm just going to move this guy just gently so you can see. There you are, it's moving. There we go. So, this is my first oleopome. Acromeris vitatum. Now, these species come from Chiapas, Mexico. So, I, if I were to say a common name, because these common names don't exist for these specimens, I were to, I would probably going to call it the cheapest uh, harvestman or Mexican harvestman. These are really cool species, and I want to show you the adult specimen. Uh, the adults really don't get a very large leg span. So this is what they look like. <laughs> they kind of look like ticks. <laughs> uh, yeah, really kind of unique and pretty cool looking. There's other hind legs. Yeah, so they get a, to about a, an inch, an inch and a half leg span. So what I really love about these species is that they're pretty cool out of this world and they're also very communal. Amanda has uh, three adults, two females and one male and at least 20 or 30 babies in there in a two liter shoebox enclosure. So two liter shoebox enclosure is exactly the same container as the one that my N. tripepi is in and my Uafa species red. So what she had is that she had Substrate up to here, moist substrate, and little hiding place, little cork bark, and a little small food bowl for them. Now, you have to ask yourself, what do they eat? Well, like most arachnids, they feed on crickets. But these guys are known as detrivores. So detrivores meaning that they feed on dead organisms. They don't take live food. So these are a little bit more high maintenance than teeth, so you want to feed them crushed crickets. And I'm going to be doing this every week for them. And also from what they told me is that they love to dine on fruits and vegetables that have been sitting there for a while. So of course, uh, because they like to dine on decaying prey. So. It would be pretty cool to see how this species grows. Uh, apparently, they have a very fast growth rate. Uh, so within six months, I should have an adult specimen. So it's going to be pretty cool to witness and film it on YouTube. And definitely, I will be showing you on feeding videos of uh, the species. But I am going to be feeding them a little bit more often than I usually do with my teas. Just because I want to experiment their growth rate on them. So you can see it's a real small speck of dust. It's really hard to make out. And you have to have really good eyes to pinpoint it. So there we go. My very first Olipone. And exclusive to YouTube and the John 3800 channel. Acro Mary's Vitatum. Awesome. And my Vitalius parasinensis, which is known as the Brazilian brown bird eater or the Argentinian stripe leg, whichever you prefer. I prefer to call it by their scientific name, the parasinensis. And my pair of Pocotheria to green wiselli. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy it and stay tuned for a new Mythbuster video this weekend. And tomorrow I'll be posting Sound Hill for the Room. Episode number three.